Hello and welcome back to another lecture. Before we start creating the resources for this project, I'll show you the process I used to create a resource in AWS using Terraform. In this example, I'll show you how to write a simple Terraform syntax to create a VPC. But you can use this technique to create any resource in AWS using Terraform. On my screen, I have opened the Management Console, Google, and Visual Studio Code. The first thing I will do is in Visual Studio Code, I will open a new file. Click File and click New File. Once you've opened the file, I'll save the file as Terraform format. I'll click File and I'll click Save. Save this file anywhere on your computer. Don't save this file in your project folder because this is just an example. I'll type my file name and I'll call it Example. Once you type your file name, the next thing you need to enter is .tf. .tf is how you enter the Terraform extension. So type your file name and enter .tf at the end. Once you've entered it, click Save. And we have saved the file as a Terraform file. You can see it here. If you want to create a resource in AWS and you don't know where to start, the first thing I want you to do is open Google and look for the Terraform documentation to create that resource. In this example, we are creating a VPC. So if I want to look for the Terraform documentation to create a VPC, I will open Google. And in Google, I'm going to type Terraform AWS Create VPC. This is what I will type in the search box. We are looking for the Terraform documentation to create a VPC in AWS. So for example, if you want to create an internet gateway, you can type Terraform AWS Create Internet Gateway. If you want to create an application load balancer, you can type Terraform AWS Create Application Load Balancer. So once you type Terraform AWS Create VPC, press Enter. Under your Google search results, look for the results that has registry.terraform.io. And under that results, you will see AWS underscore the name of the resource you are trying to create. So in this case, I'm trying to create a VPC. I see AWS underscore VPC. This is the documentation I'm looking for. I'm going to click it. And this will take you to the Terraform documentation to create a VPC. If you scroll down on this documentation, one thing I like about the Terraform documentation is they always give you the basic syntax to create a resource. Here we can see the basic syntax to create a VPC with tag. I like this. So I'm just going to copy it and paste it in Visual Studio Code as a starting point. Another thing I want to explain is to create any resource in AWS using Terraform, your syntax always start with resource. Then you will specify the resource type. The resource type is how Terraform knows the type of resource you are trying to create. It is provided by Terraform and it doesn't change. If you want to create a VPC, there is a resource type to create a VPC. If you want to create an internet gateway, there is a resource type to create an internet gateway. If you want to create an application load balancer, there is a resource type to create an application load balancer. So for any resource you are trying to create in AWS, there will be a unique resource type to create that resource. Once you have entered your resource type, the next thing you are going to enter is your local resource name, and it is this one. The local resource name is the name you are giving to this VPC resource in your Terraform template. You can give your local resource any name you want, but I always recommend that you give it a name that is as descriptive as the resource you are trying to create. For example, here we are using this resource to create a VPC. So I'll call my local resource name VPC. Once you've entered your local resource name, we have the brackets. One thing you should know about the bracket is for every bracket you open, you must have a close bracket. You can see when I click on this, it is showing me that this is the open bracket and this is the close bracket. We have an open bracket here and you can see the close bracket here. So for every open bracket you have in your Terraform syntax, you must have a close bracket for it. And in our bracket, we have what we call arguments. An argument is the configuration of your resource. Let me show you what I mean by that. We are trying to use this resource to create a VPC. So let's go in the AWS Management Console to create a VPC. In the search box, I'm going to type VPC. 
and I'll select VPC on that services. On the VPC dashboard, I'll select your VPC and I'll click create VPC. To create a VPC, these are the settings we need to configure. These settings you see in the management console are equivalent to the arguments you see in Terraform. Let's look at it. To create a VPC in the management console, you have to specify a name tag. Here you can see the name tag. Then you have to specify a CIDR block here. Then here you can see our CIDR block. Then you have to specify tenancy. Here you can see the tenancy. So that's pretty much what an argument is. Basically, what I'm trying to say is if you are trying to create a resource in Terraform and you don't know which arguments to use, go into the management console and try to create that resource. Whatever settings you see in the management console to create that resource, come into Terraform and look for the arguments that correspond to the settings. The Terraform documentation does not list all the arguments here. They just give you just a few. For example, we are on the documentation to create a VPC. If you want to find more arguments to create a VPC, on this documentation, just scroll down. Every documentation for the resource, there will be an argument section. And in the argument section, you will find all the arguments that you can use to create that particular resource. So here, we have all the arguments that we can use to create our VPC. So any settings you see in this management console, you will find the arguments here. In the management console, if there's a setting you won't configure, for example, we won't configure this IPAM allocated. So in our Terraform syntax, we won't add that argument to our resource type. This is how you write a simple syntax to create any resource in AWS using Terraform. If you have any question or there's any part of this lecture you don't understand, please leave your comments below. Thank you and I'll see you in the next lecture.